Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. You are welcome to my YouTube channel Pharmacy with Hemant. Always I used to come with new educational video related with pharmacy profession and health. So if you are new in my YouTube channel, please subscribe my channel and press bell icon so that you can get notification of my new upcoming video on time. Let's begin our video today. I'm going to explain about Amis test. The Amis test is used to determine the mutagenic potency of chemical in animals. It utilizes bacteria to test whether a given chemical can cause mutation in the DNA of test organism or not. It was discovered by this person named Bruce and Ames in 1970s to determine if a chemical at hand is a mutagen or not. He tested for many common items such as hair spray, food colors, and found mutagen and were withdrawn from the market during those days. The principle of Amis test is Amis test uses several strains of bacteria that is Salmonella and E. coli that is Stachia coli that carry a particular mutation. Point mutations are made in the histidine in Salmonella typhimurium bacteria or the tryptophan gene in Stachia coli. Histidine and tryptophan are the amino acids which are required for growth of bacteria. And this mutation results in histidine negative or tryptophan negative organism that cannot grow unless histidine or tryptophan is supplied. As I told you, tryptophan and histidine are required for the growth of bacteria. But culturing histidine negative salmonella is in a medium containing certain chemicals causes mutation in histidine encoding gene says that they regain the ability to synthesize histidine that is histidine positive these reverted bacteria will then grow in histidine or tryptophan deficient media because the chemical which we added for the test has mutagenic property so that it encoded the histidine gene as well as tryptophan gene and start the production of histidine and tryptophan so they can grow in histidine and tryptophan deficient media now we are going to learn about the procedure for the amis test i have tried to explain it in a animation form you can see this first step is we have to prepare oxotropic strain of salmonella typhimurium for histidine for this example i am taking salmonella typhimurium oxotropic strain means the strain which is incapable of producing a specific amino acid then culture media is prepared by adding a small amount of histidine for the initial growth of bacteria in the media after that bacteria is inoculated that histidine negative bacteria is inoculated in culture medium with chemical to be tested and then it is incubated at 37 degrees centigrade for around 48 to 72 hours after 48 to 72 hours in incubator we will see the culture medium if these type of colonies are present in culture media then we can confirm that those are the bacterial growth so we can say that the chemical has mutagenic property so they change the histidine negative to histidine positive that is they are insufficient of producing histidine but because of this chemical, they will be capable of producing histidine by, because of the mutation. If we will see clear culture media without any bacterial growth, then we can say that the test chemical is not the mutagenic property. Thank you for watching friend. If you think this video was useful for you, please don't forget to like and share with your friends. And if you are new in my YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press bell icon so that you can get notification of my new upcoming video on time stay safe stay healthy keep watching be updated thank you